Okay guys, you're gonna hear the whirring of my heaters because it's the evening and it's cold. I wanted to do an ornament tour of our tree. Thought it'd be super fun to do that at night. Here's our Christmas tree. The cat. <laughs> this is the angel that we've had since I don't know, years, probably our whole marriage. I got her at a thrift store. I thought she was beautiful. Um, her dress used to light up and now I just have to strategically put our Christmas lights underneath to make her light up. I still think she's just beautiful. I love how antique she looks. Um, currently, because Gloria and Joey just can't leave the tree alone, basically the whole bottom of the tree is like naked except for lights. <laughs> Let's just jump right in. First ornament we have is Baby's First Christmas, Gloria 2018. My stepmom got this for us the year Gloria was born and I love it. I think it's super precious. This is one of my favorite ornaments. Oh gosh, is my plan to do this at night gonna not work out if I do it like that? There we go. This is one of my favorite ornaments. There's two of, that are just like this. This one's 1995 and that small little boy right there is Joe, and that's his brother and his cousins. But look at that little face. I mean, there's a little tan Joey right there. <laughs> Speaking of a little Joey, I made this one in a mom's group. It's so hard to see. It's literally, I just cut a picture onto a piece of felt, but it's cute, and so I hang it up. And the kids actually really liked seeing that this year. Are you comfy? <laughs> So these little potted birds my mom made. It's like a little nest with different birds in them and I've got a few on the tree. I just love them. My mom is so talented. She also made this girl and this is Mrs. Claus and I won't ring it but it's a bell. Kids are asleep right now. And yeah, my mom made that out of a little pot. Where's Mr. Claus? Haha. <laughs> Mr. Claus, for some reason, is on the other side of the tree. Maybe they got in a fight. <laughs> and then I have shown this one before in our Q&A video. This bird, this sparkly blue bird. I cannot remember for the life of me if Joe's grandma gave it to us or if I just bought it kind of in memory of her. But she's the one that introduced me to the idea of bird ornaments on your Christmas tree. I think it's so darling and it just makes me think of her. Um, I will turn this guy so that you don't see. Um, my friend Cheyenne's mom actually made this for us when we moved into this apartment. We've lived in this apartment since 2013 and she wrote our last name and the apartment number on the back and obviously for safety reasons I'm not going to share that but it's precious to me. She like just totally randomly made it for us. This is a childhood ornament. All the ornaments are just like stuffed in the tree because I've just been trying to protect them from the kids. Joe is almost at the point of just wanting to put them all away on us just because the kids are so interested. But this is a childhood ornament. It just has my name on it and a little angel. My sister had one as well with her name on it. We've got a sparkly blue cross here. Nothing special about it. It's just pretty. Here's the other one of the like the one up here that's 1985. So there's five-year-old Joe right there, five-year-old Joe. And then down here, 1991, little one-year-old Joe. These are really special because we don't have any of Joe's childhood pictures at all. There was a couple different house fires that took them out and uh, the remainder of them one of his cousins has and she just she's got a lot going on she hasn't been able to um like disperse them we have a like we literally have two i think hanging on the wall in our bedroom and then we've got these ornaments so it's just so special if you haven't done something like this you should and i think we will i mean we live in a digital age now but but still it's really special this is another bird that is super broken like the beak is gone but it's still up there because it's still pretty and I, I don't know, I'm living in denial. I don't want to take it down. Um, look at this. Like all of these are just crammed back here because I took them away from Gloria. <laughs> so there's this really pretty ornament. It says Merry Christmas and it's got like a snow scene on the inside. It's just super pretty. And then we've got a couple of like no, there's supposed to be no shatter ornaments. I, I just stuffed them up there to keep away from the kids. We are planning on um, 
on Christmas Eve. We're gonna totally overhaul this. I'll back up and show you. So here's our living room as a whole right now. And then there's our kitchen and the trees are sort of in the middle. But on Christmas Eve, we're gonna move the tree over into this corner. We did this last year and I loved it. Shove the couch over and just make this like a magical Christmas corner. And we're just gonna like completely redo the tree, disperse all the ornaments, maybe even get some like colorful lights to add in. And I, I really want that to be like a tradition that we do every year of like just taking the tree to the next level on Christmas Eve and having the kids wake up to that. This is one of my favorite, favorite ornaments. I just love this idea. He doesn't like to stay in the small lights, um, but you put him in a light and he glows. And I usually try to like find a spot to stick him. Here we go, like in here, where he can have a light in him and then sort of like balanced in there. And I just think that looks really cool. We've got a little gingerbread house that uh, my friend Cheyenne's daughter made in 2014. So she was, oh, she was four years old when she made this. We've just hung on to it. We just love her. Back here is a Joey ornament, Best Big Brother. This is the year Gloria was born. Unfortunately, the little like palm that was on this, like he had like another pom pom, I think, broke off, but the rest of him is still totally intact. And I think that's super precious. Here's Joe's case eagle. Uh, Joe is at work right now, and I figured I would just go ahead and get this done. He has a really busy work week, and I just don't want to overwhelm him by being like, hey, can you film another video with me? So this is his special ornament. It was from his childhood. There was a game that they used to play where they would be opening up the Christmas ornaments, and whoever got the case eagle nobody knows we don't know why it has the word case on it at all maybe it's like a company or something um but whoever finds case eagle gets to be the one that puts the star on the tree and poor joe has he claims like he he doesn't remember ever being the one to find the case eagle and his family's very like stick by the rules so like if you didn't find the case eagle you didn't find the case eagle and so i make a point of like setting it to the side for him every year and like he gets to be the one hanging on the tree i only just this year we've been together for 12 years i only just this year found out that the thing was that you get to put the star on the tree i just thought it was like the special ornament and if you find it you get to hang it up but yeah apparently it's like star status so another funny thing that his dad does we don't do it but i think it's kind of fun is um he has a pickle ornament and wh whoever, I can't remember what it is. Oh, uh, whoever finds the pickle ornament at the end of the, like when you're taking the Christmas tree down, gets an extra secret present. And I don't know if this is like a normal thing or if he just completely made it up. But when there was a point where we were living with Joe's uncle and his dad lived there too. And he did that and my birthday is like, kind of right after Christmas it's in the middle of January and I found the pickle and I was like what is this and he was like oh hey and he gave me my birthday present early so let me know in the comments is that a normal thing like do people do that or did he just totally make it up and just blow me away because I thought it was a really funny idea next we have this little I don't even know elf elf dude he's kind of like rubbery I think he came from my parents house but I'm not 100% sure on that here's a childhood Jessica picture uh there's no year on it but I I imagine I was like two or three down here we've got another one of my mom's birds this one's in a red pot got like pretend snow on it we've got a little hanging Santa here we have a shining shimmery one-legged nutcracker I mean it makes sense for the story is that everything? And we've got our couple of like pretty ornaments that are shatterproof that I showed you already. That's everything. That's everything that we have out on the tree right now. We do have a bunch more ornaments actually that I just never took out. Several that I was just like, no, if the kids break this, I will be like super heartbroken. Um, maybe next year, <laughs> uh, unless we're fostering a tiny one. That is our Christmas tree tour for you. Leave a comment. Which one did you like best? And what is the most special ornament on your tree? For me personally, I think it's the bird. I'm gonna stick with my answer from our q and I think it's the bird. I miss, I miss Joe's grandma so much and it makes me think of her. Um, and I think like just for the sake of loving Joe, 
I really love that we have these, pic these picture ornaments on our tree. I just love that we have something to look at from his childhood. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. And I'll see you tomorrow.